uh, battery degradation seems to be a quite hot topic uh, according to my YouTube channel so today I will uh, make that uh, follow-up video yesterday I was talking about how I probably killed two batteries and now I will tell you the story about this, those two batteries now the first one is this one it's a uh, IBM ThinkPad T60 it has a lithium ion battery and uh, I bought it second hand in I think in 2010 around there and at that time the battery was in good condition it was uh, about I would guess 70 to 80 percent uh, capacity uh, but as you can see from this screenshot this is um, a battery tool for IBM a really useful one uh, on the right here you see that uh, originally it's a 56 uh, watt hour battery uh, but <laughs> now it can only do about 19 watt hour so that's one third of the capacity how did that happen? Um, I used it for gaming mainly because before I got my Tesla I game a lot and uh, it was running almost 24 7 yeah and um, most of the time it was plugged in uh, and I would sometimes plug it out maybe use it for an hour half an hour and then plug in again so which means the battery would be constantly uh, charging to maximum and then discharge to 95% and then charge back to ma maximum and that's probably what killed it uh, I didn't use it for that many years you know maybe like two or three years and then I stopped playing obviously uh, so I guess this might apply for all the batteries there's actually a, a tool in the IBM uh, a toolbox that will allow you to not charge to 100% you can charge it to like 90% and then leave it there so but back in the days I didn't really understand what's the point of it I mean why wouldn't I charge you 100% right so I guess the, the only way to avoid you know <laughs> uh, charging it to 100% and keeping it there is probably to plug it in like this and probably like this uh, assemble the battery oh, just... oh, what the heck okay okay hard. okay like this let's say you plug it in and then you disconnect the battery maybe you charge it to 60 percent and then you run the laptop only on uh, ac power so um, but that's too impractical so who would do that uh, but uh I guess that's how I kill that battery and the uh, next one is um, I have an electric bike that also uses um, a lithium battery it's um, well it was <laughs> a 14 amp uh, 32 watt which equals to about 450 ish uh, watt hour and uh, now I have a 16 amp. I obviously got a new one because the old one was, uh, I would say, ruined. Uh, so the electric bike uses this battery, it's kind of big, uh, but still really handy. It's, it weighs 4 kilos. Uh, and here, well, let's see, there, there's an indicator. So it has four uh, green LEDs and one red so you don't want to bring it to red well you could bring it to red but then you should charge it right away and as for now I'm storing it more or less so I have it only on two so two or three for storing is good um, so how did I kill this battery okay there are mainly three reasons first I noticed that um, uh, it performs better when it's fully charged and uh, I live like in a hill or something and so I will have a lot of downhill to go to work and I will bicycle to work and then I would charge there I will only charge at work and then I will you know bicycle back up with fully fresh charged battery which is a lot better you know to have a fresh battery 
uh, but <laughs> that means that I charge every day at work uh, so in the, the the I would only charge I mean I would only bicycle about six months a year in the summer in the winter it's, uh, it's too much hassle which means um, the bike I mean the battery would get about 100 rain chargers per year um, and <laughs> yeah so that's not good another thing is um, when it was getting close to winter the battery was chilled down it was cold in the morning I would have lots of downhill maybe it was like 10 5 degrees Celsius so the battery was cold when I arrived and remember I only charge it at work so I would charge a cold battery uh, 200% from maybe 80 70 80 percent 200 percent and I would do that every day in the cold days so that's not good either and the third thing that m probably have killed it was that um, <laughs> when winter came I stored it and I charged it to 100% and then I stored it so it stayed at you know 100 or 90 percent for six months yeah and I also stored it in a storage in here which kept kept about uh, 20 25 percent 20 25 uh, degrees celsius which is not optimal for storing i think you need to store it at around 10 15 degrees or even cold cold colder yeah so as a result uh it kind of died uh when i was bicycling back home and usually i could do what um at least 50 or 60 kilometers in a charge but that day I could only do about 10 maybe and, and first I thought that maybe I forgot to charge it but then the same thing happened next day uh, so uh, there was a warranty on it and the, this thing happened one month after the warranty went out but still you know the store was nice and uh, uh, I would get an, a replacement for about uh, uh, 250 euros or 300 dollars so I would get a, a new one, a new one cost twice that much but I would get uh, a new one, a 16 amp instead of the 14 amp uh, <laughs> I think I must have killed it, I, I'm not sure I mean it could be a warrant, a faulty battery but uh, um, I after I got the Tesla I've been taking care of my batteries a lot better. This one, uh, the laptop battery, my cell phone battery, I only charged it to 80% and then I start charging it again when it drops to like 40%. So I rarely take it down to you know 5% or charge it to 100%. So well I mean it's a Samsung so you can easily change battery but still uh, you don't want to ruin it unnecessary right? So uh, yeah, um, that was the story about the two batteries, so let me know what you guys think about the battery degradation, I mean, is my theory right about you know how it killed it or yeah. <laughs>